What's up everybody welcome back to the channel and uh, today we are going to be talking about the news that came out that's saying that Blackstone Tactical Opportunities is buying the Certified Collectibles Group which is the company that owns CGC the grading company so according to multiple sources and I'm reading off the business wire it says that uh, Blackstone announced today that funds managed by its tactical opportunities, Blackstone, have agreed to acquire majority stake in Certified Collectibles Group. All right. Um, in a in a transaction valuing the company at more than five hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, additional investors in today's transaction will include Rock Nation, which is a uh, Jay Z's company. Um, Andre Iguodala, so and Daryl Morey. So if you guys are basketball fans, then those names are ringing a bell for sure, which is kind of exciting. Um, anyways, <clears throat> and then at the bottom it says Blackstone will seek to accelerate uh, growth, enabling the company to invest significantly in its current and planned services, along with training new employees. Okay, expanding its geographic and product reach. So that maybe we might be seeing some some stretch into Canada now <clears throat> or, uh, you know, in international and stuff like that. And uh, acquiring new technologies and developing its digital presence, maybe a new website, maybe uh, they can start doing like uh, CBCS is doing with the with the barcodes and stuff so you can get your graders notes. Um, but. And then it's saying uh, Blackstone is one of the world's leading investment for firms with nearly 650 billion in assets under management and strong track record of creating value and a positive impact for companies it acquires in the communities that they serve. <clears throat> CC Melvin Ike, principal at Blackstone said, as a thematic investors, we look for exceptional entrepreneurial teams succeeding in growing markets in CCG is a great example all right uh we've been closely following the rise of global physical and digital collectibles industry in several years and we are drawn to ccg because of their leadership role and categories that they serve blackstone's ability to grow platform through both organic and inorganic inorganic like racial variants <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, we look forward to working together to help the company continue and even accelerate its impressive growth trajectory. Uh, CCG's leadership will remain intact. So the people who are running the business right now, like people who are heads, they're not going to be surplanted or whatever. They're still there. Uh, CCG has expanded from collectible coins to books, banknotes, yeah, yada, yada, yada. CCG has certified that more than 60 billion million of these collectibles with a combined fair market value approaching 50 billion. Um, that's pretty cool, actually. Oh, and Goldman Sachs and Company LLC acted as an exclusive financial advisor to CCG. So pretty much not just CGC, but CGC's daddy went over to Goldman Sachs and was like, hey, I need to grow my business. I and I've had exponential growth. Like I got people sending me a hundred books of Berserker one and they're sending me all their ratio, something's killing the children books. You know, I can't keep up with it. I need to grow with that. And that, that as well, we've been doing these signings that, you know, we charge an arm and a leg for and people are buying them. So I need help, you know, trying to meet that criteria. So pretty much Goldman Sachs probably were the ones who facilitated that with um, Blackstone. So it seems like their goal is to uh, grow it, to keep growing it, because it does feel like CGC reached the bottleneck, right? Like where they had this exponential growth, but they just weren't ready to handle it. So they raised their prices and everybody started crapping on them. They're like, hey, CVCS is doing a lot better than that. And they're offering more value for what they're doing and let's go check them out so they've probably started seeing a little bit of that bleed through and 
so now it feels like they're 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 trying to find the resource now blackstone right there it says like 650 billion in resources so these guys can make things happen one of the things they also spoke is that they're, they're probably going to be doing things like expanding this geographic location That's, that pretty much means like we're going to try to put uh you know grading places in everywhere you know grading locations instead of just having one facility in one area they might open up different facilities across the country and maybe go into canada and stuff uh hiring more employees doing more training that might be looking at things like doing more lean uh where their grading process is leaner and uh they trim any bottlenecks that they might have in that process so what does this mean for you as a collector well as us for a collector uh it might be good news it might mean that their pot might be making things a little bit faster it might mean that you know that now that they do have the money to out expand it even though i have always been confused as to why um I mean, it feels like they've been making money like hands over fists with money, money, money. But it feels like maybe they were limited by their imagination. Maybe they needed like big investors to come in and be like, hey, we know how to do this. This is what we got to do. Maybe that's the kind of advice that they needed or, <clears throat> or, or whatnot. Okay. So that's the positive outlook. Now, the negative outlook is like, okay maybe uh their sales are starting to drop off a little bit they're starting to bleed out to cbcs and the guy's like well i should probably sell now and uh hopefully the company will continue growing afterwards um that's another way to kind of look at it um again you guys probably watch the channel i'm usually not a big fan of like corporate you know entities investors and stuff because we usually end up with things like microtransactions and um and, and you know any kind of you know manipulation for you know to get people to keep buying stuff and right there it does say like they were using organic and inorganic methods um one thing i would interpret that is is you know organic as in just letting things grow the way it grows but at the same time they'd be like hey you know they've been watching how a lot of speculation works they've been seeing books blow up just by uh certain people mentioning it certain ways that things are promoted uh berserkers uh ratio variance all that stuff they're like hey we can do that but we can do it on a bigger scale and we got some other ideas and also they talked about digital uh bigger making a bigger digital imprint um i'm not really sure maybe i'm thinking of a new website for cgc is might be what they'll be talking about because their website is it's a little outdated um also with the resources maybe they can also get creative and think about it and create like a go collect and a gpa and put it into the cgc and just kind of them to consolidate because they have the numbers firsthand of what they're actually doing so it pretty much expand a database that'd be a good idea for them um uh, also using new technologies like i said cbcs is ahead of them um maybe using some uv uh slabs which is what people have been asking for maybe use some um uh, also like use the barcode for for any notes and stuff greater notes that's a great idea so maybe that's what they're doing or maybe they're just talking about like that i forget what those are those those collectibles online that you can buy collectibles but they're one of a kind and i, I don't know i don't understand that stuff but maybe that's what they're talking about all right and um so it could be good it could also be bad it just depends on how they decide to approach it and how cgc advises their new overlords um you know going forward so um i mean that's what i'm saying i mean worst case scenario they're they'll just be like you know they'll, they'll they'll cut labor they'll cut everything they'll just gut the company and you know and they're like we're just gonna do uh in-house signings from now on it's gonna be 200 dollars and uh <laughs> But I don't really see them going that route. I think that, you know, there's probably a lot of smart people on there um, on those teams that might be able to uh, get a little bit of creative with the market. Uh, again, this might be good for the company, but at the same time, sometimes what's good for the company doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be consumer friendly, especially in the ever growing uh, consumer hostile uh, corporations. Um, you know because i feel like when when you want something that's consumer friendly it usually has to be small there's very little uh 
companies that are actually consumer friendly and employee friendly and little guy friendly. So we'll see where that goes. All right. Um, until then, we'll keep an eye on this. Any updates, I'll let you guys know. All right. So I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Peace. <laughs>